Spotted. The day has come. Hi. The, the day same? has come. The do day me and mom look the same? You can do that either. You guys look the same? Yeah, you guys look like you're related. Well, I would <laughs> hope so, but people say we look the same. We are going to go to the airport. Wait, let me put a jacket on. Here. You ready? Yee. Thanks. Oh! <laughs> this is heavy. This is the start. Yo, I'm already sweating bullets. Me too. My pits are stained. All right. Yeah. Have you ever been out of the country? Yes. Other than a cruise in Tijuana for a day, Canada for a week. So you've never flown out of that, the country? Right? Never flown huh? out of the country. That one's cute. Have you been out of the country? Never. Yeah. Oh, look at that. And then the guy oh, was out. We about to get out, huh? You want to get yeah. off here? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Is this here? where we go? Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Lufthansa. Oh god. Lufthansa. See if you see a minute. Crazy, huh? No way. Isn't this crazy? I know. That's crazy. Dang, we're actually me, Casey, and Brian are going somewhere for the first time together. So crazy. Peace, yeah. here I know they dropped like, me off. Tom Bradley. Like, yeah. Now we're doing it. I'm very excited, but a little bit nervous. Why are you nervous? Because I've never been out of the country. I don't know what to expect. That's that's good. And but like anxiously awaiting in a positive way. Yeah. yeah. How are you? Are you nervous? I'm really excited, but I feel like it won't hit. That it's like actually happening until I'm there. Uh, because we kind of got stuck at Munich Airport and we're gonna try to go to Zagreb through Vienna but then we had to get another ticket directly to Zagreb because we didn't want to enter the Schengen area anyways the Polizei from Germany got us McDonald's <laughs> that's pretty nice I gave them the money we gave them our order and they went bought us McDonald's and they just gave it back to us so Dankeschön Deutschland so sleeping at the airport there's nobody here there's a few people here four at this major airport so this is Brian and Casey We will explore this beautiful place. Look at this building. Oh yes. Dude, what's your first thoughts? I love yeah, it. Beautiful. This is I so cool. Love Look at this. this. It's definitely got like Germany vibes, but Eastern European. So cool. Yeah, and the people downstairs were so nice, helped us out. Man, this is cool. We're excited to walk around. 
There's everybody walking around downtown. First time being with my sisters in a foreign country, just totally walking around and enjoying the culture together. So we're gonna do that today, that'd be cool. First day doing that, boom baby, let's go. Are you excited? I'm stoked. We're gonna do it, just chill, you know? Yee, yee, yee. Yee, yee. And body. Let me see. That's actually, this. that's pretty normal. What is and then it? these are just the shower caps. Like there's no, it's not the soap in the things, it's like just this. What's a shower cap? You put over your... Do you ever, you wear that? No. Why not? Because I wash my hair usually. Oh nice. Look, or this. I'll just put it up. Did you know that these heat up and you put towels on them? Really? Yeah. No, I don't know. I think so. Maybe I'm wrong. This is our Croatian shower. It's pretty normal. This is our Cro Croatian, oh sorry. Croatian room. Wait, don't show my... And the cool thing is, they have the windows, bro. These were my favorite windows in Germany because we don't have them in America, but they also have them in Croatia. Shout out Croatians. Look, turn it this way. You can open it like this. Oh. You didn't know that? No. It's cool, huh? Okay, I was yeah. to open that. That. <laughs> you were trying to open it? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to this was my reaction when I first saw them. Okay, look, I'll, I'll teach you. Okay. So straight down, I think this is locked, okay? So if you if you turn it okay, parallel, parallel fully, then you can pull it out like that. Yeah. And then if you tilt it all the way up, straight, all the way up, then you can pull it towards you and it like leans. Oh. That is so cool. <laughs> Isn't that sick? Wow. That's dope, huh? Yeah. Why don't we have that in America? Is this better? Yeah, I don't know. See. That's a great innovation, dude. Because sometimes you just want the full air breeze, and then sometimes you're like, all right, I'm chilling well, with I, my current temperature, and then just get a little air. I can see in America, maybe it's like safer. They want to do like a safety measure. I don't know why, but this is better. It's open, you can just like jump. Yeah, but well, the thing is, is like these things will normally be on one story houses, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, so if you're in a one story house, like I feel like it's nice to oh, open no. it all the way. But yeah, that is interesting. In American hotels, for sure, you're not really allowed to have windows that are just like super open like this, but I like it. We got this full view, bro. They have a public transit system, which we are stoked about as Americans because where we live in California, we have to drive everywhere, everywhere. And here we can just hop on the train. And right below us, a little cafe. Look at people having coffee and stuff. Super cool. Waiting for the train. They got a uh, bikers. Yeah. So we are about a 10 minute walk from downtown Zagreb in Croatia, and we are very excited to check it out because Eastern Europe is different than Central and Western Europe. So every place will have different food, different uh, music, different people, and that's the coolest thing about that's the coolest thing about traveling, dude. You meet so many different people everywhere. You eat different foods, you listen to different music, and now we're gonna try to speak a different language. And yes, that's my favorite thing. Do small things each day, have a coffee, buy some food at the grocery store, and then just practice little sentences. So we'll see how close it is to German. German is my first foreign language, now Croatian will be my second one that I try. So let's see, let's see what happens. Eins, zwei, drei. Say it again. Eins, zwei, drei. What does it mean? One, two, three. Yeah, Casey's already getting the German. And how how do Germans count? Eins, zwei, drei. Remember? Eins, zwei, drei. No, you don't remember? Eins, zwei, drei. The other way. Eins, zwei, drei. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's how you can tell. Not this. No. Eins, zwei, drei. That's like, American is like one, two, three, usually. Yeah. Or like, yeah, usually Eager we- Eager pointer finger. And German, I, and I, I think maybe all of Europe, but at least German goes one, two, three. Eins, zwei, drei. We're in a room. It has one bed. The girls are going to share, obviously. One, two. We were thinking, where am I going to stay? The floor is normal for me. So I'm like, look, I'm going to stay on the floor, right? Boom, this easy. All you do, roll up a shirt or a sweater and you put it right here. I've done that in my life a hundred times, so it's no problem. But look at this sick invention by the uh, Croat. What are Croatians called? Croatians. Croats? Oh. oh, they're called Croatians. Really, yeah. So this is a sick invention by the Croatians. Couch, obviously it's not unique to them. We have these in America too, but I appreciate you guys for putting this in our hotel so I have a place to stay. Watch. Ein Moment, bitte. Boom. 
Gute Nacht. Schlaf gut. Oh, best bed in the world. All right, we're going out to get food. First time ever in Croatia. Croatia. And we want to make sure that we have the right words so we can get the learning right away. Uh, let's see. English to Croatian. And let me make sure. What are Croatians called? Are they called Croatians? What are people from Croatia? That would make sense, right? Croatian makes sense. They're Croatians. No, that's what it says in the... Croats. I told you! Croats! You said that. I said that! And then I was laughing because I thought I was being rude like because I didn't know, but it's right. Croats. You're a Croat. You're a Croat. You're a Croat. You're a Croat. But they're also known... Okay, so it says Croats, also known as Croatians. How do you pronounce... Okay, so you, they're called Croats and Croatians, so I was right. This is how you say hello. Hello in Croatian. It's like a stravo. Stravo. Stravo, that's cool. He <laughs> said that's pretty good. Okay, we also should check YouTube because sometimes people that are like, that's kind of like a Google like animatron voice, you know? That's true. Hello in Croatian. So we're, we're going to go out among the Croats or Croatians. If we say it right, they'll ask us something. Learning basic Croatian. I just want to say how to, how to say hello. I wonder how many people live in Croatia. Yeah, look that up. How many people live in Croatia? It's a good one. Four million. That's so small. Four million people live in the county that we live in in California. Like Orange oh, County has four million people. That's wow. True. But that's cool. I mean, that's a lot of people. Four million, obviously, but it's not as much. Germany is eighty million. U.S. has three hundred and fifty million. Around three hundred twenty-five. It might be. Over th over three hundred. Wow, four million. So it's like a nice little place. Okay, here we go. This is how you say hello. In Croatian, we gotta get the. All they want is to live a they peaceful, relaxed, high. and easygoing lifestyle, and they are probably happy because the air is clean. Croatia is rich in fresh water, and the food is mostly grown in the old-fashioned way, without GMO interventions or too much pesticide, especially in smaller towns and villages. This is on Google Quora. She's looking up. What does it say? What is living in Croatia life? Yeah. Go, go again. All they want is to live peaceful, relaxed, and easygoing. We feel that right now. I wonder it's if it says pretty about chill. Orange County. Yeah. I know. What, what does it say about Californians on Google? Yeah, it's hard to... The best way to figure out about the culture, though, besides Googling it, is to go out and look. And that's what we're going to do. So let's go. Let's, <laughs> so let's go. Let's figure out how to say hello first. Hi yeah. or hello, used in Croatia. They all replace hi or hello. Book. Bok. Bok. Hi. Bok. Bok. It is used Bok. in Central Croatia. Bok. Bok. Or you can see it written as Bok somewhere. Bok. But it has the same meaning. So if we just say hi, Bok. Zdravo. Bok. Zdravo. 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 That's like Zdravo. the one you saw on Google. Zdravo. Yeah. So hello. Bok is like probably super simple, like hi. hi. You know, it's like Bok. And then Zdravo is more like hello, I think, because it seems more, more uh, complex. Pozdrav. So many. Pozdrav. Pozdrav. Ciao. Ciao. I told you everywhere Ciao. in the world. Ciao. They spell it different. Yeah. How? Hey. 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 We can say hey. hey. Just like hey. in English. Hey. Hello. Hi. Oh. Uh, it hey. depends in which region we of Croatia something. you are. Yeah, so no matter region. which reading you choose to use, Wait, locals will understand you. So you can. They'll all know. Yeah. Those what? readings are great because they can be used in. Say a... how to say hello in Zagreb. Zagreb. Oh. Say how to say hello in Zagreb because it is true in Germany Worst. when you say hello like Grüß Gott is like from the south in the in the north in Germany it's um, uh, Moin Moin uh, all over Germany it's hello and then Bok. yeah Bok in in, in uh, Zagreb, Zagreb. Yep. okay so we'll say Bok tonight or just hi or ciao but Bok it can be Bok. hi ciao hi hello or bye ciao is hello too ciao is hello Bok is probably like their version of chow, because chow can be hello and goodbye. Right. Bok. So we learned something new. Bok. Bok. Also, one of the most important sentences to learn in any language is probably, how do I say this in your language? Because then you always ask the locals, and they understand you, and then they tell you directly there. That's like, we should learn that over everything. How do I say it? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. English to Croatian. Okay. How do I say in Croatian? So I just typed that in right here on Google, and it, there it gives us. How do I say in Croatian? 
Kakao, Kako. Let's guess before we, we push the sound. Kako da kazim na hratskum. Kako da kazim na hratskum. Same thing. Okay, wait, I want to try. Wait, let me see it. Try that. Try okay. that. What does it mean? What is, how do you pronounce? Kako da kazim na hratskum. It's pretty good. Honestly. Let's see. Let's see you got it right. Kakoda Kazemna Hratskom. Kakoda Kazemna Hratskom. That's horrible. It's Google Translate. It's too fast. Uh, Let's see how they say the English one. That was way too fast because Croatians definitely don't talk that fast. Maybe. How do I say in Croatian? Uh, it's like it's like a computer. How do I say in Croatian? How do I say in Croatian? That's what it's saying. Kakoda Kazemna Hratskom. She's the We're in a hotel. Bro, this feels really good. Just to be back in a place that's so foreign to me that I have no idea where I am. That's kind of like where I feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? I feel comfortable feeling very lost because that means I have to meet people. That means I have to learn new things. And that's just my personality. So I'm glad to be back. Even in this Corona time, you know, it's been crazy. I haven't really been able to go anywhere. Um, this, you know, was able to go to Europe for work. And now we are in Croatia. And we're gonna do what we can do as normal human beings. You know what I'm saying? I have to say this too. Even during Corona, people can go out to get food. They can eat at restaurants. Obviously you can be in the country and hear the music and stuff like that. So we're gonna do what we can do while still being, you know, like this. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the videos. Hope everyone's been staying safe. And let's pray that this all gets resolved quickly. You know what I'm saying? So then we all can just do our normal thing. Yep. I just learned that if you want to say, how do I say this in Croatian, you have to say, Kako de kajum na hervotskum. Kako, kako de what? Kako de kajum. Kako de kajum na, na hervotskum. Hervotskum. Kako de kajum na hervotskum. Hervotskum. Kako de navin. Kako de kajum. Kako, kako de naj, kajum. And that means, how do you say it? It's hard, it's hard. Kako de kajum na hervotskom. So it means like, how do I say in Croatian? So you say, kako de kajum na hervotskom, and then you say in English what you want to know. Kako de kajum, kako de kajum na hervotskom, can I get a coffee? This is a good thing to know, because then you can learn anything from, if a Croatian person is there, you say, kako de kajum na hervotskom, and then they tell you, and then you learn. Yes, but we want to, we want to learn, you know, better. Dude, this is awesome, bro. New experiences. So we're just walking down. Yo, that's tight. What? That's cool, huh? That's legit. Yeah, Brandon, in case you're excited to go to the coffee shop, so we're gonna take a recommendation. All you do is walk down here and take a left, and they said that the city center is left about like 10 minutes. So check out the graffiti. It's sick, bro. I love it. See you there. Dude, these trains are super old school. They don't have a subway system here. They just have trains and buses. That's what our uh, Uber driver said. And the crazy thing is, is I left my jacket in the Uber. Fruit. So, it feels amazing. Fall weather, man. Fall weather. Get that IG pic, oh, yeah. homie. Honestly, Brian, if you want to take all the pictures, I would be. So Heads up for this grateful. train, though. Heads up for this train behind you. Look at this train, super cool, old thing. I just want to take it like this. Get that pig, homie. Follow on IG. Is this for IG or Snapchat? Snapchat. Follow Brian on Snapchat and IG. Okay, we got the green man. So when you get the green man, you can definitely walk, but I don't know how the Croatians do it with it's when it's red. I'm assuming they wait. Like hey, where are we gonna go? You wanna just walk? Dude, how cool does this look? We're just like, it's so cool. So this is not normal. This is not normal for us in, a, in California to have like fall weather. It's always just like green and we see leaves and it's a big deal for us. Cause I don't know, it's beautiful.
This is the, the library. So dope. Coming up on our first thing that we've never seen in our lives in Croatia. This is amazing. Uh, what what is this for? Oh, it's chestnuts. chestnuts. Uh, it's okay. Uh, what is it? The price? The price? Ah, okay. Ten, ten thousand. Okay, we we. Okay, okay. We have to get uh, money. Right. Yeah, we only only have this. This euro. Euro. Euro doesn't work. Okay, we gotta change, change. Yeah. Okay, we'll come back. So he's roasting chestnuts? That's cool, on an open fire. Wow. That's a famous song. So yeah, we gotta change our euros right here into uh, the money that they have here, and I'm not even sure what it's called. That's a beautiful building right there. Holy smokes, is that the university? Mm. Where are we going? I don't know. Somewhere mm. fun. Very cute. Fun and cute. <laughs> oh, that looks pretty cool. Skull Sky Coming. That's look at that style. Okay. So we are looking for a coffee shop and I asked somebody how to say thank you and the way you say thank you in Croatian is Hvala. But we went up to him and we said, hey, um, how do you say in Croatian, uh, thank you, Hvala. And then we said, okay, thank you. <laughs> but we should say Hvala. Oh, look, Konz <laughs> there's a store called Approved. And then there's a Konzem, Konzum, that actually looks like a grocery store we should go in later. Because grocery stores are some of the coolest places to visit when you go into new countries because it has all like the local food, you know, where people go to shop. I got you. That's a big deal. Nikola Tesla. Oh. All right, so there's a statue of Nikola Tesla. Was he Croatian? I didn't look that up, but I, he might be. And now we're on like a street that only pedestrians can go, which is one of my favorite parts about Europe is the pedestrian only streets. Cafe's behind. We're gonna go find some place to eat. Let's go. City center. These are nice. Huh? I'm trying to say, Mozimoli, Vigeti, Yellow, Yellow, Mojemoli, Vigeti, 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 Yellow, Mojemoli, Kabu. That means can I get a I coffee? Don't know the accent, because I feel like if it's like French, I could be like. Say Moguli. Say yeah, if it was French, you could speak French. But this is but Croatian, I would know, no, bro. Wait, that's the You'll just sound like an English-speaking Croatian. I, I see, keep seeing people get coming out with sandwiches. All right, so me and Kisa are getting sandwiches. Brand's gonna get coffee, and she's gonna go say Moguli dobutu dobiti kavu. I dare you. Moguli. Double dog. If you do it, I'll pay for it. What does if it you say? don't, then I won't. Moguli dobiti kavu. No, but I have to say this. Oh, say now. Moguli dobiti kavu. Wait, moguli dobiti kavu. Is it it's okay? Is that, is that okay? Does she need to say again? She's five. The, the cafe latte. Cafe latte. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Uh, I'm just gonna get a sandwich. Is it right over there? Sorry. Like a sandwich? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So just coffee for her. Yeah. 
Only that. Only that. Actually, yeah. I'll do what you want. Thank you. Good job. Boom, you learned something. So how much did you pay for that? Um, Alright. How much how much was that? Fifteen point one five Kuna to USD. So that's like sixty seven bucks. Four hundred. Really? Yeah. So that's sixty seven. Sixty seven from fifteen. Yeah. Yeah, so in in uh, even though Croatia is in the EU, it's in Europe, but it's not in the EU. That's why I don't think they use the euro. They use their own kuna. Cool. Wait, How's it's the coffee? US okay. is sixty-seven. Is it good? Yeah. US is sixty-seven. That's how much she took out, but it's actually four hundred in theirs. In theirs, it's four hundred. But 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 it doesn't mean like it buys the same amount that sixty-seven US dollars would buy. You know. Meaning, meaning that, meaning that, like this. It's really good. Yeah. Hey, meaning that brand, like the coffee is gonna be like twenty-eight kuna. So like twenty-eight dollars for a coffee would be insane. The coffee is gonna be twenty-eight kuna. Got it. But that would be how much? Three. So like it's still like less, but it's like. Oh yeah, it might actually be less. Yeah. Okay, I'll get the sandwiches. I'm in a bakery bread shop. This is like the mother load of good food in these countries. Moguli dobiti sandwich. Three. Which one? Um, pancake with ham and cheese. No way. Look at oh it. Gosh, Open it. That looks so good. It's like a crepe with ham and cheese. Dude. That looks right, so we, good. We can all try. And then, I got, here, open this for you. What is it? Oh, that's a croissant melted with, I think, also ham and cheese. Panini. And then this is spinach and cheese. I don't know if we want more. If you want more, we can get more. That looks amazing. I really want to try, I want to try the pancake with ham and cheese. Dude, look at this. Someone want to just take the first bite? Yeah, go for it. It's okay? Ham and cheese pancake. Yo. Okay, here we go. Napkins? Good. Sorry. I don't know, everyone eats it with it. I don't know what the name of it is. It's pretty good though. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So good. The cheese is good. I don't know what cheese it is. It's like goat cheese. Okay, I'm gonna get one of these two. Mm -hmm. And if, if we're more hungry, what do you want? Do you want the middle one? Thick. The end. Dude, pastries in Europe. Unbeatable. Cheers. Hmm? Cheers. Cheers, y'all. Which cheers? What is Croatia cheers? We need to look at it. Can you guys hold this? Zivjeli. Yeah. Zivjeli, I think, is cheers. Zivjeli. 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 Oh, that one's sweet. Let me open the What do you want? What are you looking for? Okay, I think cheers in Croatian is Zivi. Zivjeli. Say? Zivjeli. Zivjeli. Jeev Kali. Say Jeev Yeli. Jeev Yeli. Yes. Jeev Yeli. Pro, now we have to do it. Jeev Yeli, everyone. With this sandwich, which is sandwich. New sandwich. Ugh, It's alright, just put it in there. Eat another one of these. Prost. Jeev Yeli. Jeev Yeli. Ah, no water. Okay, now I'm forcing Casey to go get another one of those ham and cheese things because they were delicious, and she has to say it in Croatian. She has to say moguli dobiti, which is like, can I get? And then pancake is palasinku, so moguli dobiti, palasinku, and then to simplify it, and because the lady before used English for ham and cheese, she can just say palasinku, ham and cheese. So moguli dobiti, palasinku, ham and cheese. 
Okay, let me give her the kuna. Ten kuna. And you're gonna say mogu. Kuna, a kuna matata. No, it's like gave her the kuna. Okay. <laughs> Yo. Okay. So what do you have to say? Moguli dobiti. Good. The background looks so cool. I thought I was gonna have the sound. Moguli, moguli dobiti. It's good. And palasinku. Palasinku. So it's like it's like it's like a palace, like a palace. Cinco, like Cinco. Look at the background. I know, it's beautiful. We're in Europe, y'all. This is the crazy good views you get when you're just eating in a nice cafe outside. Cafe. Yes. Dobiti Palacinco. Ham and cheese. Ham and cheese. Yes. So Mogoli Dobiti Palacinco Ham and cheese. All right, we're going to go see how she does. You want to stay here alone? Want to stay here alone? Can you hold it down? Okay. So, oh, Karina virus. Hold on, wait for me. Can we tell them which one? Yeah. Do you want that one? Look at this one with cheese. Oh, that one's a lot. Oh, maybe this third one. They all look good, but this one is just oh, jerk. Oh, this one. Let's do that one. Yeah. Oh, you can, any one is going to be good. Look at all these pastries, though. These are possible. Oh, my God, that one's going to be good. Sinki is, 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 is a pancake. So they're like crepe, so that's the crepe. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Mogoli, Dobiti, Palacinco, Ham and Cheese. Is she in the... Is it right? Mogoli, Dobiti, Palacinco, Ham and Cheese. Palachinka. Ah, palachinka is right. Palachinka? So mo ah. mogoli dobiti palachinka. Ham and cheese. Okay. Mogoli dobiti palachinka. Palachinka. Ah, okay. Uh. All right, we tried. That's good. See, the locals know obviously better than us. Did you pay? Oh no. That's enough. <laughs> mogoli dobiti palachinka. Ha ham and cheese, we can say? Shunka i sir. Sir. Shunka i sir. 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 And then you say, Hvala. 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 Okay. We did it. Good job. We learned. Isn't that cool though? Okay, so. Yeah, we, so. That's the best thing about being a foreigner is when you try the language, like you get to meet a lot more people. Oh, he was speaking English. You get to, you get to meet a lot more people because then they respect that you're trying their, their language and like we actually want to. Uh, and the cool thing is that they correct it because we said palasinku, we said palasinku, but then we realized or we learned from the lady that like when, when the um, Croatian language has the C, the special C, it's chink, like, like ch instead of sink. So it's palachinku for a pancake. Good job. Thank you. That's bomb. It looks so good. Ah, palachinku. Palachinku. It's good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and let me try one. Mogu li dobiti palachinku ham and cheese. The thing is, I've never in the U.S., sandwich. I know because this is like crepe bread. You know what I mean? Like when you have a sandwich in the U.S., it's like crusty and like hot, hard. Even the crepes though in, in the U.S. don't taste as good. The whole crepe is just soft, you know, like the middle. That's yeah. why I think this is a great idea. Cheers. You want one? Bite. Don't film it though. Say palachinko. Palachinko. Now eat. That's a palachinko. Moguli platiti sada. <laughs> so 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 pay is platiti and now is sada. And can I is moguli. Moguli platiti. Platiti sada. Moguli platiti sada. Sada. With a D. Sada. Sada. Moguli platiti sada. Yeah, so bring this and bring this and say this and then he's gonna say something after, probably yes. And then you say <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Thank you.
Ik heb het 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 Dat is insane. Did you know that? Yeah. Wow. How'd you figure that out? Well, I saw it. Because I have the, the clip. Dude, that's crazy. Dude, this is a straight leg warmer. It's a heater on your feet. It feels so hot. It feels good. Dude, that's perfect because these countries get very cold. Like, you're negative degrees. And this is like sitting by a fireplace outside. That's so cool. Dude, see this? I tell you. Every time you go to a new country, there's little things like this that you see and find that you're like, wow, we should do this in America. This is one of those things. Do you remember? Isn't that cool? Yeah. Look at these lights, man. All right, we just ate. Now we're going to walk around the city, see the lights and the ambiance at night. Look at these flowers. I'm a huge fan. Blooming. Hey, you guys want chestnuts? Oh, not really. Since that they have these everywhere, we gotta get some. What is it? Oh, this is cool. There's a lot of people outside, man. Look, this is the main street right here. Amazing. Moguli Kupiti Yedan Mali. Moguli Kupiti Yedan Mali. Bravo. Woo! Bravo. <laughs> yeah, sorry. And then I'm going to say how much does it cost? Zon? See man, the locals, if you, if you make an effort, the locals, they love it, obviously, because you're speaking their language, and I love it too, because it's fun to learn more. Look, I, I asked them for a small, so, this is the small. Oh, Connor! What? Hey, back to you. Wait, was that in there? Okay, yeah, it's here. Okay, uh, Koliko Zamalu. Koliko Costa. Koliko Costa? Costa, yeah. Costa. Koliko Korsta. Okay, Koliko Korsta? 20 kuna. Ooh, I don't know the, the numbers. That's <laughs> 20. Okay, okay. Okay. That's funny. Okay, yeah, the numbers, we gotta get that down. Koliko Korsta. Korsta is cost. Korsta? Korsta. 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 Alright, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Grazie. Yeah, thank no. You. Thank you, right. Oh, uh, Grazie. Hvala. 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 Okay. Look at that. All right. Is it still going? Oh, yeah. All right. Is it still going? Yeah. Okay. That was legit. So, we learned how to say, how much does it cost? I look it up on Google. It said something different. So, he told me to say, Corsica. Corsta. Corsica. Corsta. Is it Corsico Costa? Corsico? Colico Costa? Colico. 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 Okay. Colico Costa. That's how you say how much. But on Google it says something different. So it's nice when you talk to people because then they tell you what it actually means in the language, right? Colico Costa. And then now we just bought chestnuts and try it. Me and Brian will try it on camera then Casey, wait, Casey will be take, next. This is the shell, right? Yeah, look at this shell. So you, so you take Break it open. Out. Is it soft? Oh. It's soft. Look. Thing. Whoa, cool thing. it's so interesting. It's very interesting. What does it taste like? Whoa, wait. It tastes like... It smells good. What does it taste? Dude, this is a, a taste we've never had before. Okay, can I try it? Yeah, try it here. Casey's up. It kind of tastes like mom's quinoa bread. Quinoa bread. Yeah, it's a, it's a little with bit the peanut, dry. With the almond butter? Mm -hmm. A little bit dry. What does it taste like? Exactly. I don't know. See? Okay. I don't know. That's also a very good thing when you go to a foreign country and you try something or see something for the first time that it's like you don't even know what to say because you've never even experienced it. And that's what this tastes like. Chestnuts roasting over open fire. Dude, this is, it tastes exactly Jack like Jack Frost snipping in your nose. Because before, it tastes like 
almond bread. It's so delicious. Yeah, it's pretty good, but I, it's acquired. It's not acquired. sweet. It's not sweet, and it's not it's soft. It's like, it's like it tastes a like a, dr a dry cookie. No. It's a mixture of like low key sweet. Here, Brian, hold this real quick. Little sweet, little salty, little dry. Okay, one more try. Do you need another one? Oh, here, open one more. We need another one to for Brian, for you taste. Can split this one. No, okay. A chestnut. Corsica Costa. These. Um, my staff's not gonna send. Oh. I feel like there's something that we can compare it to, but I don't I know, know what it is. No, we're trying to compare it to something that we know. It tastes like mom's quinoa. With like honey on it? With almond butter, if you think about it. Wait, no, it kind of tastes like cinnamon or nutmeg. Cinnamon? Or nutmeg. Well, it's a chestnut, so. It's a little sweet on the outside. Yeah, so it's sweet on the outside, but on the inside, it's like a little bit more dry than you thought, right? Yeah. And then when you roast it, it it's tastes more like. Salt. I have no it idea. It's like a chestnut. It tastes like a chestnut. So we have a now yeah. experienced a new taste: Croatian we chestnut. Compare other things to a chestnut. Croatian chestnut. Yeah. Definitely worth a try if you've never had it before. Kavala. Kavala. <laughs> Uh, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. 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 Look at this guy hauling. All right. So right now we are walking down the main street. You got the uh, trains coming down, cars coming down, people on bikes. Very cool scene right now. really cool. He was like going in for. He was going in for the hug. Yeah, I was confused because of that. So yeah, so. Schuster. Schuster. Uh, it's a shoe place. Schuster. Okay. Makes sense. okay, something that I just realized that gives me away as a major tourist. Obviously, I have a camera, but people have cameras here. The one thing is, I'm wearing shorts, and literally zero people are wearing shorts. Men, women, children, nobody. I'm the only person. So I was wondering why people are staring, or why every once in a while people, I was wondering why every once in a while people are like looking at me in a way like longer than normal. And I was like, oh, I'm wearing shorts. So it must be a dead giveaway. <laughs> I don't need pants, I, I feel good. What was the first night in Croatia? What did you like think about it? What was different? It's like a, uh, very well organized, nice, like very well mannered place. Yeah. Beautiful, good food, beautiful people. It's true. Good style. Yeah. And just very well mannered. Like and you, you feel said, very comfortable. Yeah. You say you like how everyone's just sitting down and like there's no. No one's on their phones. Yeah. Yep. No one's on their phones. Everyone's like talking, engaging, having a coffee or a beer, yeah. glass of wine, and being with that person. And That's very cool. engaging, very. Uh, and everyone just does their own thing. Yeah. They're not worried Super about nice. your, you know, making everyone feel okay. They just do their own thing, stay in their lane. They're respectful, but very orderly. Yeah. It seems Sick. like. Yeah. What about you? I love it. Top. Best thing that you saw, or most inspirational thing? Well, um, every time I go to Europe, my favorite thing is that everyone's able to walk everywhere. True. And sit down and have coffee and hang out and talk, and it's just like, like Casey said, no one's on their phones, and you can eat, and you can walk everywhere, and you just feel good the whole time. Yeah. And then everyone has like a really good style, and everyone's super nice. Yeah. Just love the vibe. Legit. All right, first day in Croatia is done. If you want to follow us on Instagram, we all have them. And I would like somebody, if somebody in Croatia, in Zagreb, would like to walk around with us in the next couple of days, please send me a DM and say I would like yeah. to walk around. And we can all walk around. And it would be great if you can show us like local spots, local food, local things that locals do, um, and maybe even teach us a little bit 
of Croatian. So please and just hang out. let us know. Yeah, let us know in the comments where we should go as well. And if one of y'all would like to hang out and just like walk us around if you have free time, that would be dope. Thank you. Peace. For, yeah, thanks for being cool, Croatia. See you tomorrow. Peace. Bye. Hey guys, I was reading last night and I got this piece from God's word that I need to share with you guys. Because we all go through troubles in this life, as we know. Things can be hectic, and this is not new. Anybody who lives will know. People that they know and love will pass away. Things will happen in this world. You know, earthquakes and storms and wars and all this stuff. This is not new to humanity. This has happened since the beginning of time. So the Word of God really does give peace. And it gave me enough peace for me to share this message with you. And it's from Philippians 4. If you want to read along, please do. Otherwise, I'm just going to read out loud from my Bible app. And these are the verses. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything. This is the part that gave me the peace. It says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, that means every situation, whether good or bad, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. So it says, the Lord God says, don't be anxious. How? Why does he say this? And how do you get through your anxiousness? Well, he tells you right here, and it's up to us to believe him to do it, right? It says, the Lord says, don't be anxious. It doesn't mean that you're not going to feel anxious. It just means that you, when you feel it, you can remember these verses and say, okay, the Lord said that when I feel anxious, I don't have to be because I can present my request. I can pray to God and let him know what I need. And with thanksgiving, just thank God for all the blessings he's, you've been given. You know, in times of anxiousness, you, we can still think like, look at the family. Thank you for the family that I have. Thank you for the body that I have. Thank you for the opportunity that I have to whatever is a blessing in your life. Maybe you're going to school. Maybe you have a job. Maybe you, you know, are in a relationship, you know, and you're about to get married. There's so many things that we have to be thankful for. And then it says, present your requests to God. And then this is a good promise in verse 7. It says, the peace of God that transcends all understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Let me just read that again because I kind of got choppy with explaining. Verses 6 to 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Your mind will be guarded by peace. That's a good promise. Really, really, and it gave me that last night when I was reading and I was thinking about all these things in my life that I don't know about. And let me just be sure or let you guys know that you can be sure that at any time in your life there will be many things or at least a small list of things that you don't know about. You don't know the future. You're in the present. You cannot know the future about your relationships, about your financial situation, about the this, this, and this. You cannot. It's impossible. Okay? So that's natural for humans to be, get anxious and say, how, how is it going to work? What am I going to do? How am I going to provide for my family? But then that's why the Word of God is powerful because when you read these verses, you say, wow, God tells me not to be anxious. It doesn't mean that it's easy and I'm not saying this in a way where I read the Bible and I never get anxious anymore. No, I'm just saying that this gave me hope and I hope it can give you hope, you know? So now, when I do feel anxious, I can recall and remember these verses. And this is why the Word of God is so important because you remember it in times of struggle and in times of goodness. But in times of struggle, like this verse is talking about, anxiousness, you say, wow. Okay, God said, just present the request that I have to Him and His peace will guard me. That's a good promise, man. So I encourage you guys to pray to the Lord and ask Him and petition to Him with thanksgiving. Thank Him for all your blessings and let Him know what you're going through. And he will guard you in peace. It's worth the try. Do it. And I got to read the next verses too because these are cool too. Not just cool, they're life-giving. Verse 8, it says, Finally, brothers and sisters, and this is important especially in this time. It's important always, but when, we, when there's a time of struggle, you got to remember these things, right? And I also want to talk more about how this relates to like our current world social media type life that we live. 8. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. That's important. Think about the things that 
will lift you up. Imagine you all day, if you're thinking about what's true, what's noble, what's right, what's pure, what's lovely, what's admirable, what's excellent and praiseworthy. Imagine if all day you're just thinking about those things, what's admirable, excellent, true, noble, then your mind will be on things of God. Just even right now as I'm saying these words, think about it. As I'm saying these words, think about it. If you, if you know these things in your life or you know what these things are, think about them and don't think about all the stuff that brings you down. And that's what I wanted to talk about social media and this online internet movie scene that we live in, which is the world. And this is normal. It talks about this in the Bible. Like there will be trouble in the world, but take heart. Jesus has overcome the world. Like God has overcome all of this stuff in the, in the world. And that's why you got to know the word. So you know that the God you serve has overcome all this. And he tells you in the word, think about what is good and noble and true and right. That doesn't mean that the things that are evil don't exist. It just means that you're choosing to think about what's right. And when you do that, you know that God will protect you and guard you. It doesn't mean be naive. It just means think about what's true and noble and right. And this is what I want to talk about social media wise. Often all day, people are scrolling, I included, and I've found myself getting drugged down to the evil side of thinking by just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Because in, <laughs> it's kind of opposite of what the Bible says, you know? Social media is not whatever's true, noble, right, pure, lovely. It's, it's like lies and you know, I don't even have to explain it. I don't even know how, what words to use to describe it, but just like lies and deceit and, and dragging you down, anxiety, what are other people doing? It's like everybody's looking at the social media just like, oh shoot, I'm drowning. No, frick, okay, turn your eyes up and say, I'm gonna think about whatever's true, noble, and right. And honestly, that might mean putting down your phone and just looking around at the life you got. You got a body, you got clothes, you got friends, you don't need much. You just need a, a little bit of food, a roof over your head, and. Friends and family, and look, man, we all got different situations, but I am a believer in, in thinking about the positive things because any one of us can label all these negative things in our life, but what does it do? It drives you down. It's like you inflicting pain on yourself. It doesn't matter what anybody else, like, like look at, I'm Connor Sullivan. I can't live anyone else's life, nobody else's life. I can, I, no matter how hard I try, I can never think for you or act for you. I can't brush your teeth. I can only brush my own teeth. I can only work for myself, right? Like, like I have to go to work to make money to live. I can't expect someone else to do that for me and I, you can't expect me to do that for you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's why I'm saying it's very important that we all have our own mindset and I'm choosing to think about whatever is true, right, lovely, and noble because when I've done that, wow, beautiful things happen. When I think about what the world thinks about, oh man, look at all these bad things that are happening and I and we don't know how are we gonna get out of it. Oh shoot, and I got pulled down to the depths of hell, bro. It's not good. That's why looking at the word and doing what it says is true, it is right. In my opinion, that's what I'm gonna do and I encourage you guys to do that. Seriously, read Philippians 4, verse 7. Verse six and seven. I'm gonna read it and then that's gonna be it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that the Lord Jesus Christ can impact and change your life because he's done it for me too. He's changed my life and I am a work in progress. I wanna be here. That's like the vision of the Lord Jesus Christ and like living the, the most righteous life possible and everyone's on an upward journey. It doesn't matter where you are. It matters that your trajectory is upward. You're looking up at what the verses say, at whatever is true and right and good and noble. That's Jesus Christ, right? And when you do that, when you look at something, you aim at it. When you aim at it, you, you can go upwards. If this is where you want to be, but you're looking down here, you're never going to go there. And this is like simple things that we all hear that they almost become cliche, but it's not anything to play around with because life is very short and we should always look up at what's true and right and good and noble, um, whatever's excellent or praiseworthy. And you think about those things and you work towards them and good things will happen. Try it for yourself. Don't think about what everybody else is gonna think about you or comment about you on social media. Oh, 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 it's drug me down. That's why I'm talking about it like that. Don't do it. Think about what's good, right, true, and noble, and that will save you, man. Do not be anxious about anything. Philippians 4, 6, read these verses. Philippians 4, 6, do not be anxious about anything, but in every single situation, every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God which transcends all understanding. You don't even know. People can't comprehend why, but it transcends all understanding of humans. And that 
peace will guard your heart and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, verse 8, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. And I encourage you. See you next video. Boom, baby, let's go.